Hi, it's Chris of Wilson Wildlife Sculpture. If you watched my last video, you'll see that I cut this large burl in half. So I've got options, options for my carved lizard. This is carved in Tupelo wood. And I have metal for support with the uh, uh, toes and claws and in the tail too, it's carved in different segments. It's painted with acrylics and um, I have uh, trying to find a base for it. Actually, I had a black walnut base, but I thought it was too dark. When uh, maple burl finishes, it will uh, be yellower, and yellow is analogous with green in the color wheel, and that's how I uh, design my works um, with color schemes in mind. So the, I've had the big burl for um, many years, drying out. It's all dry, um, and I wanted to do something really large with it, but I just couldn't find something uh, so now I got two options, and it's just a matter of posing the lizard in some different views and how I can get it engaged with the viewer, how I can work, how I can get it working on the base. I kind of like this interior space here on this piece, and I was originally thinking about using this piece. I, you know, I like, I like this, this contour here. It echoes the, the uh, curve of the tail. So I always look at the artistic lines of a piece of wood and in my sculptures. Uh, it's very important to um, get a, a pleasing composition that flows with the eye, good compositional movement. So the use of uh, space, repetition, lines, um, textures, uh, the elements of, of, of art, and the principles of organization. So um, I'm actually considering this other burl here as well. And it's very, uh, it's l longer. So I have a particular orientation in mind that I want it facing um, um, this way because its turn, head is turned this way and its mouth is open versus uh, this way. So um, it's just a matter of finding a base. So stay tuned um, and um, you can see what I choose and how I finish this piece. Um, like in all my videos, I show how I um, use power tools as well as sometimes hand tools, but mainly power tools. And there's some details of the lizard and the burl. Okay, and the second burl. I'll find something to do with, uh, with the second burl, but it was way too overpowering for one subject matter. Uh, the burl is very beautiful, but uh, I thought it was too big. So by cutting it, you're going to be able to see this beautiful grain because um, burls have swirly patterns in the grain. I also got this nice line that echoes the tail. So, you know, you never know what happens with wood. You just have to kind of play with it and have fun. So thanks a lot for subscribing to Wilson Life Sculpture and uh, liking and commenting. Please, uh, uh, if you have some suggestions how I can improve my videos, please write in the comment section. Thanks a lot for your support. Have a great day.